Intel's 14th generation processors are set to launch next month for both desktop and laptop platforms. In this video, we'll have a look at their specifications, performance, and the exact release date. Will the 14th generation destroy the latest offerings from AMD? Let's find out right after this message. CDKeyOffer.com has been my favorite trusted seller of affordable Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for over three years now. They are currently running a back-to-school sale on all Microsoft software. Use discount code IVADIM to get 25% off and bring the Windows 10 Pro price down to just $16. Then securely check out with PayPal or another payment method. The key is delivered instantly, so you can activate it and upgrade to Windows 11 for free if you wish to do so. Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale with a discount code IVADIM. Grab them now while the back-to-school sale is on. First, I'd like to give you an update on which products are coming out and when. Intel has moved the date of its Innovation Day 2023 to September 19th. That is when the company plans to reveal six new Raptor Lake refresh desktop CPUs, as well as a number of Meteor Lake laptop processors. According to the latest leak, you will be able to purchase the 14th generation desktop processors on October 17th. Reviews will be allowed to go live on the same day. Unfortunately, there is no word on the laptop CPU's launch date yet. Subscribe to the channel and I'll update you on this matter as soon as more information becomes available. Now let's discuss the specifications of the 14th generation desktop processors. Intel plans to present six new models including the i9-14900K and KF, i7-14700K and KF, and i5-14600K and KF. In case you don't know, KF models feature exactly the same specifications as the K models, with the only difference being that KF doesn't have integrated graphics. The i9-14900K and KF have 8 performance and 16 efficiency cores for a total of 24 cores and 32 threads. That is the same number of cores its predecessor, the i9-13900K has. However, the new i9 features a core clock boost of 6 GHz, which is 200 MHz higher than its predecessor's clock speed of 5.8 GHz. The cache amount stays at the same 36 MB and TDP at 125 watts. The i7-14700K and KF are the only processors that have received a proper specifications upgrade. They come with 8 performance and 12 efficiency cores for a total of 20 cores and 28 threads. That is 4 extra efficiency cores compared to the i7-13700K. This translates into a much better multi-threading performance. More on that in just a minute. The new i7 also comes with an improved core clock boost of 5.6 GHz. Furthermore, the 14700K has 33 MB of cache and a 125W TDP. This processor has the potential to become the best value CPU of the year if Intel prices it right. The i5-14600K and KF keep the same configuration as the i5-13600K, with 6 performance and 8 efficiency cores for a total of 14 cores and 20 threads, as well as 24 MB of cache and 125 Watt TDP. On the bright side, the 14600K features a core clock boost of 5.3 GHz, which is 200 MHz higher than its predecessor 13600K clock speed of 5.1 GHz. This is pretty good as the new i5 has finally surpassed the two-year-old flagship i9-12900K, which has a 5.2 GHz core clock boost. Next, I will tell you what to expect from these CPUs in terms of performance. But keep in mind that these numbers come from leaks, as well as tests of engineering samples and may be different from what you'll see in independent reviews on October 17th. But this information should still provide you with a general understanding of where the 14th generation desktop processors will land in the benchmark charts. If you are a gamer, then expect the same segment 14th generation SKUs to be 3-5% better when compared to the 13th generation. This is a pretty small uplift. If you already have a 12th or 13th generation processor, then skipping the 14th generation is probably the right thing to do, as there is no significant improvement to justify spending money on the upgrade. What you should be keeping an eye on is the upcoming i7-14700K. It has a much stronger multi-core performance compared to the i7-13700K thanks to the extra e-cores. According to the leaked MSI slide, the 14700K is around 17% faster on average. 
This will be useful to those of you working in applications that are able to take advantage of every core to do the work quicker. However, the final judgment shall be made when we see the price. AMD has been taking the market share from Intel mainly thanks to the incredibly strong demand for the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D and the older 5800X 3D processors. Other Ryzen 7000 and 5000 series processors are selling well too, thanks to reduced prices. Intel must price the new 14th generation processors aggressively if it wants to turn that trend around. Although I hear that AMD has the capacity to reduce its CPU prices even further if needed. No doubt we'll see some amazing deals during the holiday season. If you are interested in learning more about the upcoming Meteor Lake laptop processors, then subscribe to the channel. I'm already working on that video and it should be out soon. In the meantime, check out one of these two videos to find out what is happening with the next generation of PC hardware. Like the video if you enjoyed it and let's have a chat in the comments. I am always there. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.